Hello everyone, welcome back to MathMind. In today's video, we are going to explore the product of a very small number multiplied by a very large number, with both numbers expressed in third form. As always, feel free to pause the video and try it out for yourself. And if you like the content, please subscribe to the channel. Let's first try to explore what we are given. The first thing that we notice is 198 and 99. These two numbers are related. We know 99 multiplied by 2 is equal to 198. So that's a relationship that we can use in our calculation. For the next step, let's explore what we are given in the brackets. How are these two related? We notice that both of them contain square root of 5. And let's find out whether they are related in any way. We can go ahead and try 2 plus square root of 5 squared. Then that's equal to 2 square plus 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by square root of 5 plus square root of 5 squared. If we do that, then that's equal to 4 plus 2 times 2 is 4. So 4 square root of 5 and the square root and the square will cancel each other. So we are left with plus 5. In other words, 2 plus square root 5 bracket square is equal to 9 plus 4 square root of 5. And that's the relationship linking these two components. We now know 9 plus 4 square root of 5 is equal to 2 plus square root of 5 square. So how do we make use of this relationship? Let's focus on the number 198. We know that this is equal to 99 times 2. So we are going to rewrite this component right here. I'm going to write it as 2 minus square root of 5 square to the power of 99 multiplied by 9 plus 4 square root of 5, 99. Notice when we multiply these two together, we will get back our original 198. So essentially, we are not changing anything. So let's continue to work on this. 2 minus square root of 5 square can also be written as 2 square minus 2 multiplied by 2 square root of 5 plus square root of 5 square. That's to the power of 99. And obviously, the back part remains the same. 9 plus 4 square root of 5 to the power of 99. Let's simplify this part right here. So what we get is 4 minus 4 square root of 5 plus 5 to the power of 99 multiplied by 9 plus 4 square root of 5 99. So now what we have is 9 minus 4 square root of 5 power of 99 multiplied by 9 plus 4 square root of 5 99. Remember the rules of indices states a to the power of m multiplied by b to the power of m is equal to ab to the power of m. 
let's go ahead and make use of this so what I have now is 9 minus 4 square root of 5 multiplied by 9 plus 4 square root of 5 to the power of 99 If we focus on this part, we can call this A, we can call this B. If you remember, when we have A minus B multiplied by A plus B, that can be expressed as the difference of A squared and B squared. And let's go ahead and apply that. So now what I have is 9 squared minus 4 square root of 5 square to the power of 99 and from there I have 81 minus 16 multiplied by 5 to the power of 99 that's equal to 81 minus 80 to the power of 99 that happens to be equal to 1 for such a complicated looking expression, we end up with a nice, simple answer. One. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Take care.